So let me take pointers to a little bit of the next level just to show you how flexible these things are. I'm going to make a variable here. Let's call it variable 1 and sign it 5 and int variable 2 and let's give this one 10. So then int star pointer 1 let's give it the address of variable 1 and then you would think I would make the second pointer point to uh, variable 2 but instead I'm going to say hey uh, give it the uh, address of variable uh, 1 sorry I did put a 2 there but I'm gonna say 1 so let's do a little guessing here C out um, star star pointer 1 and here C out star pointer 2 okay so hopefully you can see that since both of these pointers point to variable 1 that both of these lines here should, uh, should uh, print out variable one's value because I am again this is called dereferencing each pointer saying let's follow to where that pointer is going and, and and take the value so let's run this see what we get those exceeded five five good so so now uh, here, here's one of the flexible things you can do with pointers is is since they are simply a, a storage of an address this is a lot like references in C sharp or Java um, I say well let's let's assign pointer two let's let's uh let's assign it to the address of variable two now I can just reassign it and hopefully that that makes sense to you that just like any other variable I can assign a different value to it so let's uh see out star oops star pointer two and line and run it and we see to get the value ten there so so now uh i I really just want to show you the flexibility here I say star pointer. 2 gets, um, let's assign it 23 again, because that seemed to be a good value for the last video. And I'm going to make this a little bit smaller so I can fit more on it. The hotkey I did there was Control shift comma uh, To get it to zoom in, you can use uh, the period. Uh, comma zooms out. So, so star pointer 2 gets 23. See out uh, star pointer 2. And hopefully that you would that make sense that that's 23. And then from the last video, if I uh, print out uh, variable two's value, then that will print 23, as you would expect, having watched the last video. So we, you know what, we have a lot of printouts there. Let me just uh, let me comment these these ones out. And uh, okay, so we're going to print what pointers to point is. What pointer two is pointing to? <laughs> we're gonna print the value, the end result value, and then uh, down here we're gonna adjust it and then reprint everything. So, so run it. Uh, star pointer two prints ten because variable two initially starts out as a ten, and then um, I say star pointer two gets twenty three, and I say well print whatever the value that pointer two is pointing at. Well, that's twenty three, and then again we modified variable two. Of the 23. So I just want to show you a little bit of the flexibility here. I can say um, pointer 1. Remember pointer 1 initially starts out pointing to variable 1. Well now pointer 1 I can say hey why don't you point at whatever uh, pointer 2 is pointing at. And remember you know your parents teach you it's rude to point but in code we always do that. Um, so if I say see out uh, star pointer 1 and line uh, think about it. What would you expect pointer 1 to, or the D, when I dereference it, what would you expect it to print? Well, it's pointing the same thing pointer 2 is, and we modified that to be a 23. So, so I'll run it. We see that star pointer 1, this bottom 23, that's what that represents. And basically, I just assigned it. So, so these, these uh, pointers are super flexible. You can crisscross them, add to them, uh, subtract. We, I'll show you a bunch of other things, but basically, I want you to see that. A pointer is literally just an address. That's all it is. And you can give it the address of whatever you want. And the address doesn't necessarily have to be on the stack. In fact, usually it's not. I mean, we could we could uh, declare something out here in the program image variable, something in the global space. And I could easily say, you know what, pointer one. Uh, actually, i gotta, I got to declare this higher. Let's put it up here so we can actually see it. This is uh, C++ reads top down. So anyway, I say pointer one. Um, you're actually going to get the address of the program image variable. So, 
anyway, pointers, not too much to them. Uh, we will get into some more advanced stuff later, but it's really, don't make it harder than it is. They're, they're just addresses. That's it.